All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. Well, interesting story coming out of Jacksonville. According to the NFL Network's Tom Pelissaro, Brock Purdy is throwing with his quarterback coach, Will Hewlett, in Jacksonville, Florida this week. And it's just another step in Purdy's rehab process. Um, you know, he's also throwing in front of the orthopedic specialist, the physical therapist, Tom Gormley. Um, who will be down there as well, working with uh, Hewlett and Purdy. And that these guys worked together during the uh, the pre-NFL draft process, and it really helped transform Purdy's game. Hewlett is a private trainer who focuses on throwing mechanics, uh, throwing motion, and cognitive strategies for NFL quarterback pro uh, prospects, and he's really, really good. In fact, he's an instrumental part of that quarterback collective which is a group that includes several NFL head coaches, including Kyle Shanahan and Sean McVay, uh, Matt LaFleur. And their whole purpose is to help develop young quarterbacks at the high school level, at the college level, and get these guys ready for the next level at the quarterback position. And the goal of the, of the collective is just to improve a young quarterback's rotational mechanics and help them perfect their craft. And they began that, you know, it's really interesting if you go back and research this story from before the draft. Um, these guys began working with Brock Purdy and putting him through the whole process started right after the bowl game where they put him through a motion capture, breaking down every every nuance of his throwing motion. And then Hewlett and Gormley then collectively put together a plan to improve um, Purdy's deficiencies. And they quickly identified Purdy's issues and they worked with him on his strength and his weight distribution uh, to help correct them. And according to Hewlett, Purdy made fantastic strides. Um, they were really, really impressed with what he was able to do. And, you know, how impressive was it was Purdy's improvement before the draft? Well, after he worked with Hewlett and Gormley initially, um, he was noticeably better at his pro day, so much so that the Iowa State offensive coaching staff reached out to Hewlett and asked him to work with all of their quarterbacks going forward. Um, and, you know, it's 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 really a great story. Hewlett said that Purdy was just a perfect pupil, you know, the son of a major league pitcher. Um, you know, he understood the, the, the need to perfect your craft in every little nuance. And he showed Purdy showed during uh, the time in Jacksonville that he was incredibly driven and very humble and had this desire to be great. And he really wanted them to systematically go through his entire throwing mechanics and, and try to correct every possible thing that they could. Now, the results were dramatic. Uh, Purdy was dramatically improved between his final college bowl game and the NFL draft. And according to Hewlett, Purdy improved his velocity on the football by nearly five miles an hour as a result of the program. So it, it really is a great story. On the on average, NFL quarterbacks reach 54 to 55 miles per hour um, on their throws. Purdy, by comparison, coming out of Iowa State, was only throwing you know right around 50 miles an hour when he entered Hewlett's program. But after all of the tinkering, and after the program and after, you know, working on several attributes and nuances of his throwing mechanics, Purdy's velocity jumped from 50 miles an hour to closer to 56 miles an hour. Um, and so obviously it had a profound impact because, you know, Purdy's arm strength. I think a lot of people watching him at Iowa State thought the guy's arm strength was not great. Um, I watched him on film um, at the draft after the draft, and I thought, well, he, he makes some good decisions, and there's no question he's a little bit quicker athlete than you think, but the velocity or lack thereof on his throws seemed to me to be glaring, and it made it look like when you watched him at Iowa State that maybe he didn't have requisite arm strength to play the position at the pro level. But going to this program and working on the nuances of his balance and his motion and concentrating on just improving little attributes and aspects of his throwing motion, he gained six miles an hour on the fastball. And suddenly he went from, you know what? 
this guy throws slightly below NFL standards uh, velocity wise to he's, you know, right on par with the other quarterbacks in the league. So, you know, Purdy knew that he wanted to go back to Jacksonville and work with these guys again, even prior to the elbow surgery. In fact, that was his plan. His plan was to return to Jacksonville and to continue working with Hewlett. Um, so it, it's, it's an interesting story. Then you mix in the injury to the elbow and the surgery that he had and, um, you know, just makes, you know, the, his, I'm sure Purdy's desire to go back and work with Hewlett all the more, you know, I mean, all the greater. And according to Tom Pelissaro, Pelissaro believes that this, this is, you know, the Purdy's going to Jacksonville and continuing to progress, that it's a great sign. Uh, that Purdy is progressing well through his his rehabilitation process following the elbow surgery in March, and that it indicates that he could be ready to start for the 49ers at Heinz Field against the Steelers in week one coming up on September 10th unless there are setbacks. So overwhelmingly a great story here for Purdy. He's going to Jacksonville. He's working with two guys that already know his motion, that already have worked with him on, you know, perfecting his, his throwing motion and perfecting his footwork and really all the nuances that go into both your upper body and lower body being in lockstep with your mechanics and getting the most out of your throws. Now, of course, he'll go there uh, to make sure that, you know, coming off the elbow surgery, that he's maximizing what he can from his arm strength, from his release, from his mechanics. And according to Tom Pelissaro, at least, Pelissaro's of the belief that, you know, this is a great sign. And unless we see some reports coming out of Jacksonville that, uh, you know, indicate there's some been some setback of some kind or some injury, additional problems of some kind, that Brock Purdy is very much on target to uh, to be the starting quarterback for the 49ers in his second year. And, and when the Niners take the field week one, September 10th at Heinz Field against a really uh, you know, fear stealer rush. They're going to have their number one quarterback at the ready. And, um, and it's, it's good news for the 49ers. So how much throwing is Purdy going to do in training camp? We don't know. Uh, how much will Purdy play in the preseason? No idea on that. Uh, will Purdy participate in the open practices that the Niners have prior to their game against the Las Vegas Raiders? Still unknown, and we have no idea what the schedule is going to be this summer. All that we know is that the 49ers have a plan and that, you know, they're going to carefully uh, orchestrate their plan at quarterback as it relates to Brock, as it relates to their other three quarterbacks as well. So, um, but good news for sure that he feels good enough to go back to Jacksonville, that he's working with guys that know his motion, that know him. Um, and it sounds like he's very much on track to return week one against Pittsburgh. All right. Hope you enjoyed our 49er video. Thanks to pig and a pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug show. And thanks to all of you for supporting the Krug show on YouTube.